This is the gorilla cart that I made, and Tonk is totally into it. All the dogs are into it, well, most of them. Some of them we're going to work with a little bit and have them, uh, like Billy the Hedgehog, he was a little, I don't want to do it, so we're going to acclimate him and habituate him to the, uh, the sensation of dragging by having him drag a chain, maybe a bicycle tire. Uh, but Tonk is totally into it. Micah loves it. Ike's into it. And this is the gorilla cart that I made, and it's very simple to make. It is. This cost under 100 bucks to make everything, you know, including the harness I put together. And uh, please be assured I'm getting a, a better harness, but uh, we just wanted to get this going and get everything working. So let me show you the gorilla cart, what I did. This, this area here is called the shaft, okay? And... What I did was I, I just didn't put the handle in, and where the handle went, I put this threaded rod. Now, the key is when you do this, you have to use locking washers because, you know, if you don't, this will just rattle apart. So it's, it's very, very simple. Now, the thing that I wanted to say about the, the shafts, you can buy a aluminum shaft. It's about 75 bucks. I think um, Dog Works sells them. And uh, canine carding, I think, sells them. So you, you could use something like that and attach it just as easy. But th this cart is very simple. And wood, you know, I was thinking about wood. I might use wood again and actually just finish it out real nice and maybe use a, a hardwood. This is just pine. It's just cheap pine. You know what I'm saying? Like wood, wood could look really nice. So, it, you know, whatever material you wanted to use, I'm sure that you could use pvc pipe too i saw that that online too as far as like uh pulling like there's they can pull just about any type of wagon um i saw somebody make one out of uh, like a two-wheeled kind out of like a, a bicycle trailer type thing you know um that seemed to work good good boy tonk and you know, you can, you can make it out of anything. That the key is just to you know make sure that your shafts work and and your your harness is is like you know on there and working, and the dog is comfortable. He's in the sun. I'm gonna move him. Okay, here. Come on, buddy. G. No, G. Tonka, here. Jay. Now we're not going to work Tonka until it gets cooler. It's over 80 degrees. I don't want to make him miserable. Don't do retrieves either when it's hot out. The dog has to breathe through its mouth and it has that object in its mouth. It makes it miserable. Don't do that. You know, there is a, there's a reason why the wolf is primarily a nocturnal animal. They do better when it's cooler out. It's a fact. Don't overwork your dog when it's hot out. Don't. Wait until it's cool. Do it at night.